All right, so since that I didn't have uh, enough luck with the uh, 2080 Ti Kim pin to solve my issue with the efficiency, I actually found out found quite nice looking uh, 980X Gulf Town CPU. Uh, so uh, it did uh, 4.8 uh, W prime at 1.4 volts and uh, 5.1 gigahertz with uh, hyperthreading disabled. So for tests like Super Pi, Pi Fast, and so on with little over 1.4 volts. So it seemed. Oh, well, that is the best Gulf Town that I ever had, uh, even the uh, even better than the uh, AO engineering sample CPU that I had here, which did over 6.7 on LN2 for single core stuff. So I'm really curious to test this now uh, with the last bits of LN2 that I have. So uh, the whole setup is based on the uh, Asus Rampage 3 Black Edition, which is one of the best, if not the best. Uh, x58 motherboards out there uh, it has really amazing power delivery and uh, 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 multi gpu uh, options uh, and uh, so on the only sad part about this board is that you cannot change the uh, multiplier on the fly in the os uh, like you can on the x58 oc with the buttons so uh, you have to rely on just base clock tuning uh, the power supply is the Superflower 2000 volt, 2000 watt 8 pack uh, model. So uh, the uh, board has two 8 pin connectors for the CPU, as you would expect. Triple channel memory. Here you can see uh, three sticks of Corsair Dominator uh, LP the Hyper uh, based memory. So three times two gigabytes, so six in total. Two of the sticks are the really expensive and rare Corsair Dominator GDX2, which had a stock setting of 2250 with 888 timings at 1.65 volts, and one stick is a binned Dominator GT2000 Cas7 stick, which I have binned myself. So I run these uh, as a one combination, and it, it is a good for it is good for. 2150 to 2200 with like 676 or 675 timing so that is really amazing uh, performance when it comes to memory and then just a simple VGA to display the monitor signal T-Rex container of course with KPX thermal paste so uh, memory or just on air no no dominant spot there to cool the memories down I don't have enough LM2 for that and I don't really think that the uh, Benefit is that great to buffer with it for now. We have to know how the CPU clocks, but yeah You know the VRM as well as the North Bridge really heat up with this platform when you bench them really hard so have to keep good airflow towards them, but But other than that without further ado, let's get this uh, session going and let's hope that we get to full pop temperatures and some pretty nice uh, clock speeds on the CPU
okay let's try to run w prime at 6.4 runs 150 something it boots quite fine or even 6.6 .6 is almost booting at 1.8 volts i'll do one splash and then we'll run w prime 32 boom easy 2.546 to test if this CPU can reach a full pot with all three memory sticks yeah 2.546 well uh, that was funny I got shared uh, rank one scoring W prime uh, 32 which is 2.421 at 6.615 <laughs> with only temperature of minus 160 so we are not even at full pot. Yeah, crazy CPU and board. There's some uh, callback issue with three sticks of memory, uh, but there's some work around that. So I'll uh, get that later. But I'll, let's just smash the W prime first. So I finally got the uh, W Prime 32 uh, record on the 980X, 2.406, very tight result. 2000 on the mem, 4.8 on the uncore, 6.615 on the core, 1.9 something on the V core, very tight. It happened around minus 170. I cannot get this chip to full pot sadly, so the uh, Super Pi and so on will be very tight and I don't think I get the 1024M, but still. This is, a extremely, this is an extremely old record, the W Prime 32. So uh, I'm very happy. Yeah, very nice result. 6.6, .6, very hard to find a CPU like this. All right, that's the end of my 980X bench session for now. Really good CPU, I have to say. Uh, maybe in time it could break the 1024M as well, but that really requires very amazing efficiency. Uh, SuperPi 32M, it will not break because it cannot reach such high clock and uh, uh, I cannot reach full pot with any uh, memory configuration, not with single channel memory or with all three sticks. So uh, I just booted uh, in at around 6.63 with only 6 cores, 6 threads, 34 multi, 195 base clock. The Encore is, is actually quite good on this, I can, rate, I can run like 5.4 even, so yeah. But yeah, that's all my settings, very high recall. There's a bug, there's a bug with the... Uh, uh, there's a bug with Goof Town CPUs in general, that if you disable some of the cores, I mean the physical cores, the, uh, it's very, there's very high chance that the CPU will die, which is a very weird bug. You can always disable hyperthreading without any risk, but if you disable cores, like if you disable to, uh, two cores instead of six or even single core, there's a real risk that the CPU dies permanently. There's a thread about this at the old forum called uh, Extreme Systems by... Uh, uh, Hyper 5, which was, I mean, who was a very legendary um, Greek overclocker who found this uh, bug in the first place. So, uh, some of those uh, folks used that to uh, kill the uh, very bad CPU samples to get new ones from uh, Warranty RMA. Of course, that is not a legal or very nice thing to do for Intel, I mean, but. They did it anyway, so uh, that's why I'm too uh, scared to try uh, two cores instead of six for those uh, Super Pi tests and so on. But I might try it in the end if nothing else works, because in the end we just want to try the uh, best possible... We want to get the best possible uh, score with the hardware that we get. So uh, next time 
Uh, if I don't find anything else uh, that would improve my uh, performance, then I will just try uh, disabling the uh, physical course and see what happens. But I would not like to uh, lose this not very nice CPU. It's very hard to find a really nice uh, retail, uh, retail golf town for benchmarking purposes. And this was a very lucky uh, uh, case for W Prime. This is very nice considering that it can do 6.6 .6 plus all course all threads. So yeah, the passive heat load on the CPU container is really really high. Uh, but yeah, so that's why uh, a pot like T-Rex or these would be very uh, suitable for running these CPUs. But yeah, so uh, if you like to see some of the uh, some of this old. Uh, retro hardware uh, benchmarking then please like the video and uh, sh maybe share it and subscribe to my channel and uh, I will post the results uh, to the video and uh, I will see you on the next one.